when I was supposed to go back to New Orleans, I had actually had the option. Uh, okay, just enough money to either catch a train back to New Orleans or buy a monkey suit. I opted for the latter. <laughs> yeah. And I bought the monkey suit instead of a train ticket. <laughs> I go by name Marzipan, uh, and I also go by uh, the classical guitar jukebox monkey, which is another aspect of my psychology, I imagine. After I put the monkey suit on, people don't want to look at it. People, you just see as I walk down the street, they get to uh, look up, but then look down, or look somewhere else. They don't want to see it. set up on stage in Union Square, they, they love it. It, 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 what it. it turns out to be, it's a perfect contrast to be a monkey playing Beethoven. Not only do the kids get a hoot out of it, but the adults are like, holy oh, Moses, like he's, he's playing Mozart, and it's a monkey. So it's the contrast, and it works out perfectly. I found out my mom died. Uh, I went to like contact her uh, on the internet. I tried like, to look, look up her phone number, and I found I, I, rather than her phone number, I found her obituary. The the inheritance uh, ran out around like uh, late December, um, so I lived on the streets. I mean, I could be homeless in Kansas. That'd suck, <laughs> you know. And the, the I'm, I guess I'm hard from after being homeless in New Orleans after Katrina. So myself personally, I, I can you know, uh, I can deal with the weather and everything like that. But when they when people realize I'm carrying an amplifier on I me, mean, I'm a target. So I have to like uh, I have to be careful because once once the equipment goes out, it's like I'm. Uh, I'm unemployed, <laughs> you know.